Hello. Well, you left me last week from the top of Cold Pike in the southern region of the Lake District. And if you remember then, I was making a decision whether to carry on my planned route to Crinkle Crags and down to Three Tarns and then and down Brown Hill and back up to Red Tarn. Well, you can see, or you can't see, because we're completely clogged in. I can't see it lifting. To be honest, it's not forecasted to lift it, to lifting. Uh, Crinkle Crags is at a higher elevation as well than Cold Pike, so it's pretty much 100% uh, cloud all day. So I met made the decision not to continue with that route but instead I'm going to head down to Red Tarn hopefully the mist fog low-lying cloud will have lifted I can get uh, some images from there so as you can see still completely clogged in here at Red Tarn but I think there's an image here I'm going to go minimal you've got some reeds just peering above the surface of the water and in the distance there's just a faint outline of the other side of the tarn and I think that could help balancing the image so I'm just going to walk around and held Try to frame something up. Always not lost here. I find the best approach is definitely handheld. I'm just picking out individual strands of grass and trying to make a, a pattern, frame them up. Trying to avoid the uh, the clumps, the larger clumps, because I find that quite distracting. So remember, I'm going very minimal. I'll come to the far end of the tarn it seems to have clogged up even more but there's still a faint a uh, faint hint of the other side of the tarn which is obviously helping this for instance here there's three separate strands of reed just appearing above the water so it's four four separate strands I'm just gonna try and frame up here um, pretty low light. I'm shooting at f8. I'm gonna get in about shutter speed, checking the histogram about one thirteenth of a second. What I've got to bear in mind is there's a lot of moisture in the air, so I'm constantly having to wipe the lens, of course. But this is quite enjoyable, and I've talked about. The importance of bringing that mood in to your photography. So this is just exactly how I like it. The conditions that suit me the most. I feel and that's just calm, tranquil moments like these. The fog is obviously helping that because it's just ironing out any sort of distractions not that there is much anyway because we're fairly flat ground around the town but the sound of water just that soothing soothing sounds and I'm st still enjoying trying to find something there's, four, there's foreground uh, reeds and that's ticking the air into the background as well and it's some diagonals emerging I'm basically wandering all around the town I'm gonna continue that until I uh, come to a point where I think enough is enough but there's no rush
definitely in the zone back there I'm going to leave for a time for the time being the fog is not lifting at all nice bit of minimalist landscape photographer I feel that you've got to be in the zone you just gotta ensure that you are keeping it minimal but at the same time making it interesting so still using diagonals and leading lines where I can and space the reeds out so it fills the frame. Very enjoyable indeed. Right, I feel we're going to continue with the foggy, misty theme. So on to my next location. Down. and the autumnal colours are slowly creeping through in fact what's attracted me here across the town is a collection of trees which are turning orange and got a foreground interest in lily pads problem I've got you see the reflection the sky ideally I want the lily pads to be in a darker area so they stand out more but I can't quite position it the fog as you can see there it's obviously uh, dissipated the low we've become uh, low we've got but towards that direction is home fell so I might just tick and mosey up there or at least towards that direction but first of all I'm gonna play around this uh, area and the turn because as I said the colors are definitely here Now, 
I've been here before and I remember this tree. It's got a lovely character to it. It's just bending to the left hand side and sort of reaching out with its multiple arms and branches. But I've never been here before when you've got the background trees with their orange colours. And then beyond that you've got the more the verticals, I believe the pines. So I have framed up as well, focusing on the main subject, which is the tree in the foreground. But I've also included the sky in this image. And the reason I've done that is because I think it just adds to the mood. It's lightly dusted in fog. There's a nice bit of layering going on. And yeah, I think this really works. I've framed it up so there's a tree on the left hand side as well. Similar sort of colours but more of a rounded shape just to balance it out. My main thing I had to take into account is I wanted to form a bit of contrast so the branches of the tree stood out. So I've had to position it against a lighter background. This is nice. Two second timer. I'll play around with this in post. Right. That mist, fog, mist. Is it mist? It's still hanging about. So I'm now gonna head up higher towards Home Fell. Probably not reach the summit, but I'm just gonna make a way up there. What a lovely day. to the top of Humfell. <laughs> Not quite there, but I felt that I had to in search of some nice specimen of trees. And there's a cluster in this area. And the fog, this is fog, this is thick stuff actually, I reckon. Not less than 50 metre visibility. In a way it makes it harder as well. I'm um, not so much getting that depth but I'm looking at some nicely shaped angled branches. There's one here, um, a few over there as well but it's just eliminating options as well. Um, look at this, the heather is still in flower slightly so I may play with that, I don't know. You've got bracken and look at the shape of the bracken and also you've got the grass as well you quite like that contrast or I might just home in on that some lovely shapes going in there as simple as possible there as well so you can see the clusters and I don't really want to move any further up because I know for a fact there's less and less trees to play with. The rain is starting to come down as well, so it's making it a bit, uh, bit harder in terms of wiping the lens. Right, let's get to action. I played around that area and I decided to go at the simplest option. What was most attractive about the tree or that scene was the branches and the, the shapes. So, by including a foreground, it's just going to take the interest away from that. So, I took a short, what, around 70, 80 mil, zoomed in using 24 to 105, and just isolated it. A nice bit of space, mist, fog around which just emphasises the structure of the tree itself. So I've ventured up. And some lovely colours going on here. There's golden bracken. And I've headed for this tree. You've probably seen this tree in a lot of images. It, it does get a feature in a lot of shots where on a better day 
includes a shot of the Langdale Pikes. But again, I've gone simple. I've made it simple. I've focused on the bracken here, and I sort of love the shapes. It's a nice triangular shapes. A bit of space here, see that? And I like this bump of the frame. Just makes it stand out. A bit of contrast there, and then you've got that tree. And I've isolated it around it. Made it nice and simple. Now I am fairly close, what am I? About a metre or so away from the bracken, so I've knocked it down to F16, focused on the bracken itself. Keeping it nice and simple and visually pleasing and it's still raining but still having fun when conditions are like this it's really hard to peel myself away the thing is I don't often get conditions like this hopefully as autumn approaches and we get in the midst of it towards winter we'll see a lot more and that's where my photographer I feel really benefits because I just love this mood but to be honest I'm starting to feel it I'm starting to feel really tired I spent quite a lot of time just picking out subjects of trees composing them with the different contrasting bracken, uh, options of heather as well. But the main thing is, I think I've come away with some good ones and I've also enjoyed myself as well. Right, I'm gonna head back down to U Tree Town. <laughs>